Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. <laughs> Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. I can't put it towards how amazing this view is. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth watering foods that only this great state has to offer. So can we dig in? My mic is seriously the happiest person ever right now. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your one-stop shop for all the places to see and things to do all around the Lone Star State. I'm your host AC, and it's no secret that Texans really know how to have a good time. From our rodeos to our football games to some of the best music around, you gotta admit, this state, it's one happening place. And our next destination is no exception, promising a party so big and entertaining, it can cater the entire south of Texas. So what do you say y'all, ready for some big Texas fun? Well, come with us to Selma. Welcome to Big Texas Fun, a three-day event hosted right outside San Antonio city limits. This Texas-sized festival is in its second year, and our resident expert, JB Saceda, enjoyed all the fun and games last year. But this time, a whole new crew was ready to explore. All right, so when you think of fairs, what normally comes to mind? Maybe some carnival rides or fried food or some local entertaining acts that really want to make you dance. Now, add that all up and multiply it by 10 because everything's bigger here in Texas, of course, and with the festival named Big Texas Fun, you know it's going to be a good time. So let's check it out. But before we jumped right in, we met up with the festival director, Debron West, to get the lay of the land. Year two of Big Texas Fun is even bigger. We have uh, 10,000 pounds of crawfish we cooked last year. This year our goal is between 15 and 20, and I'm hoping for 20,000. Wow. We upped the barbecue cook-off to $7,500 worth of prize money. But now that it is growing and expanding, we'd like to go all over Texas. And we're starting at Selma with the Halloween boil and brew yeah. this October. Very cool. And so now you are taking the poll on where y'all should go to next, eh? Yes, so we want to hear from your fans what city yeah. we should bring Big Texas Fun to. Perfect. We're about to hit the ground running. So what should we do first? Where are some of the fan favorites? Fan favorites, mobile escape room, the hypnotist show. Definitely check out the uh, tribute bands. Okay. We've got great ones tonight and eat some crawfish. Big Texas fun gets bigger and better year after year. From the rides to the games, and even a petting zoo, there was so much to be seen. And with so many options, where to begin? How about the crawfish eating contest? All right, so unfortunately I didn't sign up for the crawfish eating contest, but it is different from last year. Every single person here has three pounds of crawfish right in front of them, and whoever eats it the fastest wins. So I'm amazed already that people can scarf down three pounds of mud bugs, but best of luck to everyone. Let's take a look. This contest is open to the public, so anyone, no matter the age, can sign up with $250 cash on the line. If you could scarf down three pounds of crawfish within minutes, yeah, you're definitely a winner in our book. And with all that food laid out in front of us, we had to indulge a little ourselves. Check this out. I got fried Oreos, fried cookie dough. Yeah, you heard that right. They got uh, fried cheesecake and fried peanut butter and jelly. Oh, mine. I'm gonna do four corn dogs and a lemonade, please. I am gonna eat all of this and not share with anyone. And a Texas event wouldn't be complete without some barbecue. And lucky for us, we got a taste of the wing plate. Oh my God, yeah. Man, that's good. Is it tender? Oh my goodness, that's so good. <laughs> oh my God. Big Texas fun provides thrills the whole family can enjoy. From spectacular rides, to classic fair games. Oh! 
more. Two obscure attractions you wouldn't normally see at a carnival. This is our two minute mini escape room game. So it's got a great introduction to the escape room world. Right. So in here, we're gonna have you sit on that big red button. Okay. It's called the hot seat. You cannot let go of that button. You're gonna use these red and green lights on the side to start working our circuit breaker puzzle button over here. Okay. Once you get all that figured out, that light's gonna go from red to green inside there. That box is gonna open up automatically. You're gonna find cables inside there. You're gonna plug those cables in all over the room. If you do that in under two minutes, you're gonna win the game. Ah! Super easy, right? <laughs> and go. Ah! 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 Got it, got it, got it, got it. Ah! What am I taking? I had no idea what I was doing in there. Absolutely no clue. And entertaining music acts that get the crowd rocking. Walking out to an Aerosmith tribute band was definitely the cherry on top of our day. And at the Yellow Texas stage, it was so cool to see our name out there. So thank you for joining along here at Big Texas Fun. And make sure to mark on your calendars to come out here in the fall. And hey, who knows, maybe Big Texas Fun may be coming to a city near you. We'll see you out there. Peace. Find out where the biggest family event in South Texas is heading to next by visiting BigTXFun.com for updates. Okay, y'all, you know we're always bringing you the latest and greatest from the Lone Star State. So when we heard that the pop culture event Celebrity Fan Fest is coming back to San Antonio with even more celebrities in entertainment, you know we're checking it out. Celebrity Fan Fest is San Antonio's premier comic convention, and it's coming back the weekend of June 14th through the 16th at the Freeman Coliseum and Expo Halls. Get ready because not only will two-time Academy Award nominee Jeremy Renner will be there, but also Vision himself, Paul Bettany, and WWE superstars Becky Lynch and Daniel Bryan have been added to the guest list too. Plus, returning by popular demand, Celebrity Fan Fest favorite Jason Momoa, except this time Aquaman is bringing some of his fellow co-stars, including Amber Heard. More star appearances will be announced in the upcoming days and weeks, but there's just so much lined up at the events already, including exhibitors, panel discussions, celebrity photo and autograph ops, and several other activities to give guests a true one-of-a-kind immersive experience. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets right now at CelebrityFanFest.com. Again, that's CelebrityFanFest.com. We cannot wait to see you out there. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. Now here on Yellow Texas, we're always got the need for speed with supercars, ATVs, roller coasters, you name it, you know we're definitely down. So when we got the word about a place just north of Houston that lets just about anyone participate in wheel to wheel kart racing, well obviously we had to check it out, right? So buckle up as our Yellow Texas co-host Brooke heads to New Caney, Texas to check out the one and only Speed Sports Racing Park. <laughs> Well, if you think of karting and you think of that little go-kart place you went to as a kid for your birthday, well, think again because this <laughs> is not your average racetrack. And that's because Speed Sports is home to two separate outdoor tracks, each a course of challenging twists and turns and big enough to allow lots of passing, finding the right line, and a whole lot of fun. And for this course, you need a car that's up for the job. This car goes up to 45 miles per hour. A little bit of an adrenaline rush, something that will release your inner Ricky Bobby. So this is gonna be the fastest roller coaster that you will ever operate right here. <laughs> Are you sure? Cause I'm gonna beat all these people. Look, I am positive, okay? If anyone asks what the fastest car is, this is the one I tell them. Okay. Let's check that chin strap, make sure you got safety first. We're all good to go. So remember, right foot's to go, left foot's to stop. You got your steering. Perfect. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do this. With our pre-race instructions complete, it was time to hit the road. It was an absolute blast. 
I definitely recommend it for any event or company party, but for this next part, I think I'm gonna need a costume change. If you still want to go even faster, well, you're in luck. Speed Sports is also home to the Allen Rudolph Racing Academy. With bigger engines, smaller size, and better aerodynamics, these carts will reach speeds up to 70 miles per hour and are how lots of professional drivers get their starts, including my trainer for the afternoon and owner of Speed Sports, Alan Rudolph. You were kind of an expert. Tell me a little bit about how this place got started and what you do here. Well, I kind of call it my field of dreams. Um, I've been racing since I was nine years old. Carts has kind of been my passion for forever. You know, what's next in life after racing and, and so I've always had a kind of a dream of being able to build, have my own racetrack, uh, my own school. So I had to put a group of partners together and um, created Speed Sports Racing Park. What's something about karting that most people don't know about? That's a great question. Um, karting, I, I say karting is kind of the hidden secret in motorsports. At the professional level of karting, it is the most intense physical, physically demanding sport in motorsports out there. All right, so we've talked about the facility, but what else does speed sports racing have to offer? What can people do here? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I like to, our tagline is uh, Houston's high speed playground. And that's really what it is. I mean, we offer a variety of different things here. Uh, the main thing is uh, what I call rental cart arrive and drive business, open to the public. And then beyond that is um, corporate groups. Um, as you'll see, there's, we have a, a nice little group today here, 50 people that are coming and having a meeting all day, followed by lunch and racing at the end and a cocktail party afterwards. Where else can you do that? In Houston or anywhere, really. Everything from what we refer to as a cart racing experience course, which is anyone can do that come out for a couple hours and experience the thrill of driving a real racing cart, which is what you're going to get to do in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's just simply a couple hours, 199 bucks, gets you behind the wheel of what a real racing cart is. So, it's, so we really have it all. It's Houston's high speed playground for a reason. Fortunately for me, the Racing Academy includes instructions on how to handle these lightweight racers. Everything from finding the right racing line, to braking, to controlling your body behind the wheel. Just call me Danica. Woo! Honestly, I could have spent the whole day out on the track, but all things must come to an end. And so finally, we had to call an end to ours. Those are seriously fast. Oh, well, I had so much fun today at Speed Sports. So if you're looking for your next party or corporate event, or maybe just want a chance at open wheel driving, this place is definitely YOLO Texas approved. My drive home is gonna feel a lot slower than today out on the track. Ready to chase the checkered flag? Go to speedsportsracingpark.com to learn more. After the break, we are filling the music of one of my all-time favorite Tejano artists at Fiesta de la Flor in Corpus Christi. You don't want to miss it. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. So here on Yellow Texas, we love taking part in all the many festivals going around our Lone Star State. So next up, we're taking you to a festival in Corpus Christi that celebrates the Hano culture, an endearing musical icon, and well-known artist that many of you may have heard of. That's right, I'm talking about the queen of the Hano, the beloved Selena at Fiesta de la Flor. This is Corpus Christi, host city of Fiesta de la Flor and home to Texas icon Selena Quintanilla. And what ties this all together is, you've seen the movie Selena, right? You know where she's introduced to the washing machine? Well, these are the very steps. For two nights of the year, fans across the world line up by the thousands, remembering the life and legacy of the Hano Music's Brenda Star. So if you didn't know, Selena skyrocketed into fame back in the early 90s, really catapulting the Latin Tejano music into mainstream, earning the nickname Queen of Tejano Music. She captured so many fans' hearts, including yours truly. Yep, you bet. I am a Selena fanatic. Woo and I'm not the only one. But to get a little more insight of the festival, we met up with Teresa. 
thank you so much for being here. We're very happy to have everyone come in and help us celebrate this life and legacy of our beautiful Selena. We're coming together as, as one. It doesn't matter where you're from. We all share the, the common interest of the same music. Um, so of course, this is a musical festival, but it's a family festival. So we have, we have El, El Parque where the kids can play and enjoy what our beautiful Bay of Corpus Christi. We have La Plaza with so much variety of food from all different restaurants in our area. Yes. Then, of course, for the second and last time, we're having the wax figure of Madame Tussauds or Selena. And what a better place to bring a pay tribute than Corpus Christi. Selena was much more than a musician. She was a designer, an actress, an entrepreneur, and a philanthropist. And much like Selena, this festival, there's so much you can do. There's shopping, there's activities, and there's food. Lots and lots of food. And you know what? I'm pretty hungry. La Plaza Food Truck Court is the center for good eats. Pick and choose from over 20 food trucks loaded with different cuisines and frescas, including a quintanilla family day. Here you go, here you go. Oh my. I love these tacos. Ooh. This is from the home of Selena where she used to eat all the time, right around the corner at Morgan, Morgan and Old Brownsville. So this is what she used to eat. Oh, Enjoy. perfect. Thank you so much. And you know, I definitely had to get a pizza because this is Selena's favorite food, y'all. With lots of pepperonis. And you know, a Selena festival wouldn't be complete without some shopping. With over 80 artisans from Texas, Mexico, as well as South and Central America, this market featuring beautifully designed clothing, accessories, arts, and crafts will have you leaving with the perfect Fiesta de la Flor momento. If you need to get for your abuelita, this is the place. Up next, a quick selfie with Selena's official wax figure flown in all the way from Los Angeles for the occasion. Or at least we try to get a selfie. We're so excited, even though we've been waiting three hours, but it's okay. She's worth it. We've been in line, what, four hours already? Like, almost, no, almost five hours. Don't go anywhere just yet. More Selena love coming up right after the break. Welcome back to Yellow, Texas, where we are in Corpus Christi attending the annual Fiesta de la Flor, celebrating the Hanna legend and Texas icon, Selena Quintanilla Perez. So far, we've gone to an artisan shop, taste some yummy food, ay que rico, and we've got as close as we can to the Selena wax figure. But now it's time for the main event. Yeah, you guessed it. It's time for some music, y'all. Fiesta de la Flor has everything from traditional Tejano music to the next generation of rising stars, all who follow the trail Selena plays for them. Well, I think for a lot of us, uh, we were too young to, to know her when she was alive. So by the time we were coming up, she opened so many doors for all of us. And, and I think it's still really visible today, the impact that she has on the industry. I mean, Selena to me represents all young Latina girls who don't have somebody to look up to. Even 20 plus years later, Selena still inspires. And as for her songs, they still make you want to get up and dance. And sometimes sing. What is your favorite Selena song? No me queda más. Que perderme en un abismo de tristeza y lágrimas. Love you, Selena. Favorite Selena song. Go. Como la flor. Go, go, go. Take it, take it, take it. Me diste tú. Se marchito. Me marcho hoy, no sé perder, pero ay, cómo me duele, ay, cómo me duele. So if you're a true Selena fan, you know the disco melody, but 
how about a Selena silent disco? All right, so here's how it all works. You got DJ L Dusty in the back mixing all of the Selena classics, but the only way that you can hear is not through any speakers. There's not any there, but through these funky headphones. You put them on. Everyone else who doesn't have a headphone cannot hear what you're hearing, but got some jams in here. From the bustiers to sequence hats and all the joy she still brings today, Selena was and is the total package. Selena may be gone, but her legacy lives on forever. I am in awe and taken aback by the reception and the love for Selena. It's true, she's an inspiration to all, including myself. But unfortunately, we have to hit the road and get back home. So, adios chicos, Selena, por vida. Want to learn more on how you can attend Fiesta de la Flor next year? Visit the link below. All right, that is all the time we have here today on Yellow Texas. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all next week.